Doug is an amazing 64 year old man who's had chronic sciatica for 10 years in his butt, sit bone, and hamstring. He really wants to qualify for the Boston Marathon, but unfortunately he lives in California and there aren't many non-surgical chronic pain specialists there, which is why I've created adhesion release methods to help train pain doctors and therapists to actually learn how to diagnose and treat adhesion. So if you are a pain doctor or therapist who wants to attract more people in chronic pain and fix them, then go to adhesionreleasemethods.com and take the five day sciatica challenge. But anyway, before we get into it, hit the like, hit the subscribe, and make sure your notifications are lit up so that you are aware when our next video gets released. He flew out here for a couple of treatments and found a bunch of adhesion around his sciatic nerves and he had pretty awesome relief after those two treatments. Watch and enjoy. All right, well, we'll start with the testing. You're gonna put your fingers over one another and reach down, yep, you know what? Inches. What do you feel there? I feel um, mostly behind my knees, I would say. Stretch behind your knees? Yes. Zero to ten? Um, probably five, six. Got it. And then... Um, what? In the sit bone? The, I'd say the or whole like glute area. Got it. What do you feel there? Um, also a stretch, and I would say also in the lower back, though uh, maybe possibly. How much is the stretch in the glute? I would say five. Five, What do you feel right here? On the... Outside of the knee? Behind the knee? Yes. Maybe Stretch. where the calf inserts into the knee. Okay. Certainly on the bottom of the knee. Mm-hmm. A stretch here? Yes. Zero to ten? Uh, six. Six. And does this increase it? Or stays the same? Pretty much stays the same. Maybe slight. 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 Got it. Lie face down for me, please. Sure. You did a great job. We asked a lot of questions. <laughs> right now, I'm just feeling for. I'm just appreciating the texture and the depths, the depths here. And then I'm seeing what feels not happy and what feels like it's stuck. The common peroneal nerve right here feels a little bit irritated. This feels contracted right here, so why is it like that? I don't know yet. That feels stuck. The tibial nerve, the adductor magnus, that I'm getting in between the tibial nerve and common peroneal nerve. That feels still all gross in here. Probably gonna start with this. ramp up in tension it's like the rubber band was pulled a lot relative to how it was pulling before and it just tells me that that adhesion was bad because you felt a lot of the posterior knee symptoms on the lateral side which is where that nerve the common peroneal nerve runs across before it goes to the front of the shin yeah his sciatic nerve is all kinds of gunked up now I'm gonna treat that nerve from the other side I'm gonna work through the hamstring Probably not gonna feel great for him. Go ahead, James. I was 
just talking to a lawyer who comes from Staten Island and he was telling me, I was telling him how most of our patients have never been touched. Their orthopedic doctors or chiropractors ever don't touch the area that hurts. Um, and he was just saying, yeah, I wasn't touched before I came in here and he's had low back pain for, I don't know how many years, 10, 15 years. Part of the trick with some of these spots is right here, the sciatic nerve is covered by his lateral hamstring and it's in the way. Go ahead. So you have to figure out how to get your finger underneath there to get to the spot that's caught and stuck or else you'll just miss it and glide over the hamstring. So I'm having to be creative with how I put my finger in here in order to be able to feel the tension. Because I was getting deep, you could see that my fingernails are all in there because I have to use the tip of the finger and not the blunt edge to get deep past the sciatic nerve or common peroneal nerve and get adductor magnus. Zero to 10 behind your knee. Yeah, I don't feel it at all, actually. What do you feel the most right now? Okay, now, now I have to say my lower back. I love it. Because I don't feel my... That's what I'm talking about. Now I'm checking the sag nerve up higher, because this was severe. The first treatment, it's doing better. However, right here, not moving right there. Soft and movable. I'm picking up the sag nerve and I'm just seeing how much it'll move. Where on this side, I'm seeing how far down it'll go to push. I should be able to move this thing. And if it's stuck or glued down, it won't budge. So I'm feeling for that. And every time I do a treatment pass, it should get easier and easier to do. I'm gonna do one more spot right here. under the inguinal ligament it comes out like this and goes down the front of the thigh and if it's glued down it'll compromise the hip flexors but especially the quad side this way a little bit so this superficial peroneal nerve is a nerve that's responsible for going to most of the bottom of the foot and I'm glad that the sciatic nerve got most of that but some of that does feel like it's bound up and stuck in there. Treatment's working. You're responding really super well to this. Don't go anywhere, because he's gonna measure you. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm super happy about this stuff. If you don't mind, if you can report back in in two to four weeks and just let us know yes. how anything changes at all, if at all, that would be, it's always helpful for me to see how things correlate with each other. But I'm glad the way that you responded and I look forward to next time you can come out here. Excellent. What do you feel right here? Most of it, I would say. Right here. Yeah. Zero to ten. Um, like a five. Gotcha. But it seems like my leg is a lot further. Further. Yes. It's at seventy-seven degrees. I think that was more like 
Was this increasing it? Oh, no. by the way. No. Okay. Good. You were at. Yeah, you're at 74 before, so you gained uh, three. Three. Five inches, four was nine. What do you feel there? Pretty much nothing. Uh, nothing behind the knees? No. Uh, Good. Uh, six, seven, seven, that's wonderful. Yeah, that's amazing. If you'd like to see more about how we fix chronic pain at Barefoot Rehab in New Jersey and with adhesion release methods across the world, hit the like, hit the subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos that we will be releasing each week.